Samsung has been cooking up something big in the extended reality space. And after months of leaks, rumors, and speculation, we finally got our first real look at Project Muhan, the company's upcoming Android XR headset. This one is a full-fledged collaboration with Google, running the brand new Android XR operating system and powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 chipset. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our in-depth VR coverage. Now, let's get into it. First impressions, a premium build with a familiar design. Walking onto the MWC show floor, it was impossible to ignore Samsung's massive XR presence. While the company didn't let anyone fully test the headset, no touching, no holding, just looking, we finally saw real-world mock-ups instead of the rendered images we've been teased with for months. The first thing that stands out about Project Muhan is that it's a full, over-the-head device, much like Apple's Vision Pro. But there are some key differences. The four front-facing cameras and capacitive control strips on the stems suggest a focus on hand tracking and gesture control, potentially eliminating the need for dedicated controllers. The design is sleek and modern, though slightly bulky due to the high-end components packed inside. The headset name, Muhan, is the Korean word for infinity, which hints at Samsung's vision for the future of XR. Their goal isn't just to compete with Apple and Meta, it's to create a platform that pushes immersive tech beyond what we've seen before. OLED OS displays, a visual revolution? One of the most exciting reveals was the OLED on silicon, OLED OS display technology used in Project Muhan. These 1.3-inch panels with an insane 3,800 ppi promise unmatched clarity and sharpness. For context, a flagship smartphone usually sits at around 500 to 600 ppi, MetaQuest 3 is just over 1,200 ppi, and Apple Vision Pro tops out at 3,400 ppi. Samsung's OLED OS screens are slightly smaller than Apple's 1.42-inch panels, but they're sharper and more advanced than anything Meta currently offers. The only thing surpassing them is Sony's ultra-premium 4,000-plus PPI display, but that panel alone costs over $1,000 per unit, which would make any headset astronomically expensive. This means Project Muhan is likely targeting a premium price tag, but not quite as extreme as the Vision Pro's $3,500 price point. Apple's OLED OS displays reportedly cost around $300 each, so expect Samsung's headset to land somewhere between $1,500 and $2,500. A new Android XR ecosystem. One of the biggest game changers here isn't just the hardware, it's the software. Project Muhan is the first headset built from the ground up with Google's Android XR operating system. This new OS will power not just headsets, but also XR smart glasses, making it a direct competitor to Meta's Horizon OS and Apple's Vision OS. Google Maps and XR, the future of navigation? One of the coolest features I experienced was Google Maps running in full immersion mode. You can literally zoom into cities, walk around locations, and navigate with full hand tracking. Imagine planning a trip by virtually walking through your destination before even booking a flight. You can zoom all the way out to Earth scale or step into a local cafe to see what it's like inside. It's essentially Google Earth VR on steroids, but now fully integrated into a standalone headset with hand tracking. Gemini AI, your personal XR assistant. Samsung's XR headset is also deeply integrated with Google's Gemini AI, which acts as your virtual assistant inside mixed reality. Gemini can identify objects in your environment. I put down a pair of Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses, and it correctly recognized them as smart glasses. It can also answer questions based on what you're looking at. It can also rearrange your virtual workspace with simple voice commands. While Gemini's AI recognition still has room for improvement, the idea of a personal assistant that sees what you see in XR is a huge leap forward for contextual computing. Eye and hand tracking, the future of interaction? Samsung's headset includes full eye tracking, which sets it apart from Meta's Quest 3 and Quest 3S, neither of which have eye tracking at all. However, eye tracking isn't required to navigate Android XR, meaning you can still use hand gestures as the primary control method. When I tested the headset, eye tracking adjusted the lens separation automatically after a few seconds of keeping my head still. This is a huge plus, as it ensures the sharpest possible image without needing manual adjustments. External battery, a smart but controversial choice. Project Muhan features an external battery pack, which means no heavy battery sitting on your forehead, a common complaint with standalone headsets. 
Instead, the battery is tethered and can be kept in your pocket, making the headset itself lighter and more comfortable for long sessions. This is a smart design choice, but it does mean you're dealing with a cable running from the headset to your pocket. If you're used to the wire-free experience of the Quest 3, this might take some getting used to. Potential Weaknesses – What's Missing While Samsung and Google's XR ecosystem looks promising, there are a few big questions left unanswered. No controllers were shown, hand tracking is great, but for gaming and productivity, many users still prefer physical controllers. No photorealistic avatars, Meta is pushing its codec avatars, and Apple has personas, but Samsung didn't showcase anything similar. No details on gaming support. Android XR is designed for multitasking and productivity, but where do gaming experiences fit in? A worthy competitor to Apple and Meta? Samsung's Project Muhan is shaping up to be one of the most exciting XR headsets of 2025. With industry-leading displays, deep Google integration, and a strong focus on hand tracking and AI, it has the potential to shake up the high-end XR market. However, there are still a lot of unknowns. We need official pricing, controller details, and a better look at gaming support before we can fully judge its potential. If Samsung gets the pricing right, this could be the first true Vision Pro competitor that offers high-end XR without the insane Apple tax. Are you excited for Samsung's new XR headset? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more in-depth VR coverage.